Paul, I'm very happy to be standing before you today as we begin this journey as one. In the past three and a half years, we've experienced great victories and literal disasters together. These trials have pushed the boundaries of what we thought we could endure, but in the end, I feel more strongly connected to you, and they have helped us build the strong foundation of our relationship. Paul, I am amazed by your great patience for me every time I am hangry, and I am tickled by your peculiar habits when we are alone. You are truly the weirdest person I know. You always know how to make me laugh, and you are my best friend who truly understands me for who I am. I know this is now the true beginning of our story, and I am so excited to see how God will lead us in our path together. As your wife, I promise to be there with you through the mountains and the valleys. I promise to continue to challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to put your needs before my own. I promise to be faithful and supportive in all that you do. I promise to try my best to age gracefully in body and soul and not become a cranky old lady. And as the glamour and excitement of today fades away, I promise to love you just as much tomorrow as I do today. Most importantly, I vow to keep Christ in the center of our marriage until the day we meet him face to face. Paul, I love you. Yaren, I know our path to this exact moment was not only not easy, but a tough one. We had our many differences and butt heads countless times, but we can both say confidently that we made it work. It is because we stand on common ground, Jesus that we will continue to stand on, lean on, and will continue to build our lives upon. That is why I am sure that you and I are well equipped to serve one another and is how I can make these vows meaningful both to you and to God. Now I stand here to ask you and the public to remember these words that I am about to say. I promise to put you before me, even if it means denying my own reasoning. I promise to be loyal to you and to God. If we fight, which we will, I promise to make peace with you before we go to bed. I promise to take out the trash whenever I am able. I promise to tell you the truth and love. I promise to be patient and kind and to communicate in such a way. I promise to love you the way you want to be loved and will try my best to love you in a way that God defines love in his word. It says in 1 Corinthians, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. So now faith, hope, and love abide. These three. But the greatest of these is love. I love you, Aaron.
we should consider this marriage a holy ceremony and must be present with reverence. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy and the significance of this day. Yerin and Paul now about to vow their unending loyalty to each other. We ask you to accept the shared treasure of their life together, which they now create and offer to you. that you have given themselves to each other by the promises they have exchanged, I declare Paul Choi and Yerin Kim have become one in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. So give your hands for them one. I don't care when I'm with my baby, yeah. All the bad things disappear. And you're making me feel like I'm loved by somebody. I can deal with the bad nights when I'm with my baby, yeah. And I don't care as long as you just hold me near. You can take me. Stupid mistakes have got us to where we are. It was worth all the pain. Yeah, we're 